We have a question from Emma who asks, when the Sun turns into a white dwarf, will it affect the orbits of the planets going around the Sun? And that's a really, really clever question. And it's looking at the future of the solar system as the Sun gets old, becomes a red giant and then dies. What will happen is that the Sun will swell up, becoming big enough to possibly engulf the Earth, but will certainly devour Mercury and Venus. So those planets will be gone, they'll be destroyed. Then, when the Sun finishes being a red giant, it will puff off its outer atmospheres, blowing them off into space, making something called a planetary nebula, which will be really beautiful. And it will blow that material out past the planets that are left, leaving a white dwarf. Something half the mass of the Sun, but just the size of the Earth. It's kind of crazy, if you had a teaspoonful of white dwarf, it would weigh more than Mount Everest. It would be really, really heavy. So, the Sun becomes a white dwarf, what would happen to the orbits of the planets that survive? Well, that white dwarf is only about half as massive as the Sun, so its gravity would be weaker. So as the gases are blown off from the Sun's atmosphere, the planets would spiral outwards as the Sun's gravity got weaker as more and more material was flung away. So in the end, the orbits of the planets would be further out than they currently are, and so they take longer to go around the Sun than they currently do. Now, how far out they'll move? We don't really know, because that depends exactly how much mass the Sun loses, but it also depends on whether the planets are slowed down by the gas that they're moving through when the atmosphere is being blown out. Now, if you've ever been stood outside on a really windy day, you feel the wind pushing you backwards, trying to blow you over. When you're moving really quickly into the wind, that stops you from getting any quicker. That's the kind of thing that makes cars have a maximum speed, is the wind resistance and the friction from the road that they're moving along. So that wind resistance, you can imagine when the planets are going around the sun and the sun's blowing its atmosphere off, the planets will be pushing through all this gas, and that could cause them to slow down and spiral inwards a bit. So where they'll end up will depend on the balance of whether they spiral in more because of the wind, or spiral out more because of the loss of the mass from the sun from it shedding the material. And that's going to be a hard one to answer. In fact, the best way for us to find it out would be to wait and see, but we're going to have to wait a long time probably about 7,000 million years. So it's a long time to wait, but it's a really good question.